All right, guys, welcome back. So we are in a place called Golf Vegas, and it's often referred to as the Grand Canyon of Maine. It's kind of uh, funny how I left off last time at the Grand Canyon, and now we are at the Grand Canyon of Maine. Uh, we're gonna go out, find a spot to fish, and I'm gonna be camping here for a few nights. So yeah, let's just head on out there and go check it out. So I'm excited to see where this takes us. I actually haven't fished here before, so this is gonna be all new to me. I'm sure I can hook up to a few. I don't know if I'll find any big ones, but we're definitely gonna be able to get some fish. I hope, because I didn't bring enough food if I don't catch any. It's always, I like to have a little touch of color. So you, as you can see by all these flat rocks, or just, I mean, this area is just totally flattened out. So this is an old, well, it's the Katahdin Ironworks. So a lot of the uh, logging operations, and in this case, the Ironworks, which probably required uh, this particular body of water to be logged, just so they could supply their furnace. And so it kind of flattens out the streams and it actually makes really terrible uh, brooks for brook trout especially because they have no cover. The water heats up a lot so I can't say how good this water is going to be. But I still imagine that I can get a couple bites here. So I'm just going to work my way over, make a few casts, see if we can't hook up to a few and then I'll just move on. Maybe find some more wooded sections here but the flowing water just makes me want to go out and give this a try. Oh, first cast. Nice, baby. Just a little one. This is what I expect to catch most of the trip. Oh, this is a chub. Gross. That's depressing. Just a little, oh, he got off. Just a little chub. I don't know, not having much luck here. Just that one chub. Might have to switch out the fly, it's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Although I do want to give it a chance. I'd like to use a dry fly, but I may have to use some nymphs. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. What is it? It's not bad. I think it's a trout. I think it's dinner. Oh, come here, dinner. There we go. What is this? Is that a bass? That is a bass. It's a little smallmouth. Oh wait, I can lip bass. How convenient. <laughs> Can't do that with trout. Check it out, just a nice, small, small, small mouth. Not catching too much, but got this little guy. He's something to start off. I was really hoping he was a trout. Anyway, let's, let's let this guy go. There he goes. All right, that was cool. Second small mouth I've ever caught in my life. And it wasn't big. But, that was a bad cast. Something tells me I can catch another. So I'll be more aggressive with my, my fly just to see if I can get one to come out. There we go. Um, yeah, nothing special about that guy. <laughs> it's a cute little one. I'll just put him right back. You know, I'm kind of glad to be catching smallmouth just because they're so damn aggressive. 
so I don't have to be about delicate presentation with the fly. I can just strip it right back and see if one will come out and eat it. Just like that. This is a chub. Okay, I might be fishing in the wrong spot. I think that's a chub. He's got some really big scales though. I don't know. Could that be a whitefish? It might be. All right, gross. See you, bud. There's a bridge way down there. I think I'm gonna go try the bridge and then go find a new river. It's almost two. So I gotta find a spot to camp soon too. Gotta do too many things in a short amount of time. All right, so I got a chance to take a look at a new river. I can tell you right now that it's not gonna be any better, but at this point it's getting a little later in the day and I think it's time to just pick a spot, go with it, see if we can't catch a fish and if it's a smallmouth, then we'll cook it up. And that, that actually reminds me, I forgot to check the rules. So I'm gonna go look that up real quick and then we're gonna make our way down to the stream. Nothing's looking that great. So I'm just gonna continue to search around and hope that maybe there's a beaver dam somewhere along this river. That is starting to be the only way I'll find fish, I'm pretty sure. This is just the reality of what it's like to explore new places. Because a lot of the times, you really don't know what you're getting into. Sometimes you find a good spot, but a lot of times you end up searching in the wrong locations. But that's okay, because it's good to get familiar with new areas and it's fun just to be outside. So I think I finally had a spot that I am willing to put my rod together to give it a try. Right back by that tree. <laughs> Might actually be my only hope. Whatever's in this stream, I guarantee you is not gonna be very big. Oh, okay, those were little minnows. Don't think I'm gonna eat those. He's that's small. Come on, a little six incher. <laughs> Good news is there are fish. So that's a plus. Bad news is they're maybe four inches long. See, that's too small, that's too small. That's tiny. Oh, they're minnows. Okay, let's see if we can hook a minnow. The ultimate micro. This guy looks at it and he's like, nope, that's too big. Any bigger guys in there? It's gotta be one. That's too small. Oh, well, sometimes that's just how it goes, right? As far as the day one fishing and exploring goes, I uh, have to say I have done much better, but I'm not gonna let it discourage me too much. Sometimes that's how fishing goes. You don't always catch them every time. Oh, I needed that. So what I think I'm gonna do now is just get my fill of water, go find a campsite, pitch my tent, and just cook myself a little camp meal, which is gonna be decent actually. I'm gonna have some burgers tonight, some moose burgers. I guess I haven't shown you this, but I got a new bag a new camera and it is awesome. I'm able to store away all of my camera gear right in here. So this is actually, I'll go through it. Maybe if you guys want to see a gear video, I can go through all that stuff, but I got some first aid, all my cooking stuff. And it is just so much better than what I used to do. I really needed a backpack that was tailored to both carrying gear 
and all my film equipment, which is, it can be difficult to find something to do that task, I know very well. But this is doing a great job. It's in the description below if you want to check it out. But I could do a gear listing if you guys want to see uh, what I carry around and what's in the bag. But I am, I am so happy with this setup right here. This just makes my life so much easier to have all my stuff. I even got some spices now because some of you guys are telling me how my meals are pretty bland so at least I got some stuff in here. I even got some hot sauce in the front if we had caught a fish but sometimes that's the way it goes. So anyway let's just move along. I just watched Jurassic World the other day. It kind of reminds me of that. Okay, man, it's so humid here compared to the desert. It's not even that hot out, it's like 70 degrees and I'm sweating. Okay, let's go find a campsite. Make some dinner, pluck all the weeds out of my feet. <laughs> oh, well, that was definitely one of my more successful fishing trips right there. Glad you guys could join me. Let me set this, see. Ah, it's like the old GoPro. I need a mount for that. Whew. That, that was a struggle. We'll get All right, I think this spot seems as good as any, really. So, 420 right now. So let's just set up camp. I'm gonna get the tent pitched. So there's nothing special about this spot. It's just a little dirt pit, but I, I think this is gonna be a good enough spot to camp. Uh, the bugs aren't too bad. The horse flies are, but you know, this is to be expected in Maine. There it is, 10 out of 10, would not recommend. But uh, I did put a tarp on there because it doesn't come with a rain fly apparently. I forgot to put one under there to be quite honest. So it is gonna rain a little bit this weekend, but hopefully not too much. Anyway, I'll show you around the tent. It's nothing very fancy at all. You guys probably shouldn't get this one. I just forgot my other one, so this one was gonna suffice. It is small and easy to pack, so that's one feature of it. Pretty much where I'm gonna be sleeping the next few days. I mean, the inside looks kinda cozy. So long as it doesn't get wet in here, I'm okay with that. Thankfully, it does have a fly uh, mesh. I actually thought it didn't. I thought it was just kind of an open style like this. I am quite happy that it has that. I thought for sure I was going to be itching from mosquitoes just all day tomorrow. Uh, I'll take it, really. Anyway, that is done. And let's make some moose burgers. That's uh, so nice. It holds my cooking setup as well. Ah, it kind of feels like uh, I'm out west again. It's funny. It's been a while. Doesn't seem like it because it was just we finished that series last week, but for me it's been about a month now. Uh, perfect. There's my glasses. So my brother actually got his moose permit. So uh, the one that we shot two years ago, we still I still have maybe one or two pounds left that I've just kind of been hanging on to. I've been eating that deer that I ran over. <laughs> but yeah, so we got to finish up that moose and I'm going to at least get the one pound that I brought with me a little further along. But anyway, we're also going to film that series, so that'll be a moose hunt coming up in, uh, well, I'm going to film it in September. I don't know when it'll be out, but that's going to be a really cool hunt that we'll get to go on. Let's see, I have a knife in here somewhere. There we go. Knife could use a little bit of a sharpen, I'd say. Oh, can't forget about our meat. So here is our moose meat. 
It's just like the pound or so that I have left. I think I might have some asparagus with this. I'll just cook some asparagus up on the side. I could have a couple of them anyway, why not? Eat somewhat healthy here. Because I forgot lettuce. Not that lettuce has much nutritional value, but I'll get some greens here. I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of the tips. I like these portions, especially when they're this size. The, the smaller ones are way better. I don't know if anyone's ever had mousse before. Um, some say it's an acquired taste, but for me, I do like it. It's uh, not as fatty. So it's kind of, it will probably crumble apart, but that's okay. I don't mind that much. Let's get this right in there. And this is looking pretty good right now. It's gonna take a little while to cook, because, uh, well, I went a little overboard. I could have made this into two patties, but I didn't. I still might. I think I'll make two. So what do you guys think of the quality of the new camera? I think it looks really nice. It's gonna add a interest. It's gonna add a cool aspect to these videos I wasn't able to get before, and also I have a second camera now, so that helps a ton. I think this is done. Can be good enough. We're gonna be done here in just a second. I like my asparagus to be pretty crisp, so we are almost gonna burn them. Just that, you know, so, so close. Kinda in particular about that. See how these are doing up here. Ooh, they're coming right along. Excellent, that one's good. Ouch. That's exactly how I like these. Right here, this is perfect. A little bit crisp. Excellent. Um, I guess we're just gonna flap those right down here. Yep, like so. Perfect. That's kind of hard to beat. Does that not look delicious? Someone was saying I need to show off my finished product a little more. How's that? Is that making you hungry? Does that not look good? They look so good. <laughs> Well, I have to say, this has made my day a hundred times better. Uh, that was a disappointing day of fishing, but I think this is at least starting to make up for it a little bit. I feel much happier, let's just say that. You know, this might be a fishing channel, but you can't always guarantee that you're gonna catch some fish. So I don't know if you've ever tried moose before. Uh, some people don't like it because it's kind of gamey. I don't know what gamey tastes like. Uh, I guess I've been told that that is something that's due to improper cleaning. Um, so I've never really had anything that tastes gamey to me. It tastes different than, than beef. I mean, there's not as much fat. It's very lean. So it's pretty healthy for you. Mmm. But, 